Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. The Rapids Parish Communication District held their regular meeting session this morning. ABC 31's Joanna Phillips met with the director of the Rapids Parish Office of Emergency Preparedness at that meeting to see how the city's preparations for Hurricane Harvey played out. Central Louisiana was spared when Hurricane Harvey's path was predicted to pass directly through the area. But the city stayed prepared before, during, and after with water pumps in the chance of flooding and a number of other resources. All of the municipalities, all of the, uh, the parish uh, agencies work together to ensure that any and every precaution that could possibly have been made in preparation of worst case scenario was made in advance. And thankfully, Harvey um, changed his mind uh, and we were, we were spared. The city quickly changed gears going from preparing for possibly damaging impact to welcoming those affected by the hurricane. We went from a preparing for an impact to a shelter mode. And even, even when we do that size or that type of sheltering for coastal Louisiana or for Texas, it takes every agency, it's a partnership, and I think for Rapids Parish, we dodged a big bullet, but in the same token, we, we provided care, shelter, and we were good neighbors to Texas. The Alexandria Mega Shelter housed nearly 2,000 Texas residents who left their homes behind to find a safe place to call home temporarily. Survivors were transported from the Mega Shelter last week to a shelter in Dallas, Texas to begin their road to recovery. Central Louisiana lived up to its name as the heart of Louisiana through its efforts made during a time of need for a neighboring state. Joanna Phillips, ABC 31 News. If you noticed a bump in your utility bills lately, the city of Alexandria says there's a reason for that. In a news release, the city said their meter reader department has been understaffed for the last two months. Since only three people had to read more than 60,000 meters, they changed the billing cycles to 40 days instead of the usual 28. The release also noted that the city is bringing in contract workers until the vacancies can be filled. No one was available from the city today for comments. More than 100 students showed up for a job fair at Northwestern State University. ABC 31's Shar Thomas has the story from Natchitoches. Today, NSU students got a chance to apply to eight different local employers as they anticipate on a call back. Most college students spend time either in their books or at a part-time job because they have financial needs that need to be met. NSU job developer Karen Loach says she felt it was a need on campus to have a job fair because students have a hard time connecting with employers. In the small city of Natchitoches, employment is limited for college students. Um, well, right now I'm just looking for a job to help pay for any, any of my responsibilities and any bills that I have while I'm here at college. Their number one complaint is finding a job that works with their school schedule. While some students just need a job for the time being, Sean, a graduating senior, is preparing for his future and he says it has been hard finding a job to pay his bills. It's impossible. It's really hard for me to find a job. I've went to places, they just say they're not hiring or I've applied and I just don't get a job for some reason. So I don't know. When it comes to hiring people, employers say the biggest challenge is finding dedicated employees that want to work. One thing, good work ethic. That, that's that's very hard to find people that actually show up for time on time for work. People that say they want to work and actually come to work. You know, they say they want a job, but really actually show up for one. 165 students left the job fair with high hopes of working with one of the eight employers. Shar Thomas, ABC 31 News. After some days of mild weather, we are heating things back up. Meteorologist Kim Walker is here with a first look at our forecast. Well, we've seen the sunny skies all day long. It's been just absolutely gorgeous out there. The relative humidity and the dew points have been pretty low. And so we are going to continue that trend into tomorrow. However, it is going to get hot and the humidity will also return as well. But here's a look at your planet for tomorrow. Temperatures around 64 degrees at 7 o'clock, partly cloudy skies. And then mostly sunny through uh, your 5 o'clock hour temperature readings at lunchtime will be around 81 degrees. We climb up to around 89 and then dropping back down to around 88 degrees at 5 o'clock. Along with the warmer weather, we're going to see our rain chances increase this weekend. We'll talk about that in detail coming up in just a little bit. All right, thanks, Kim. 
An Alexandria man is arrested after local police say he exposed himself to them and children following an incident with a weapon on East Sycamore Drive. 24-year-old Curtis Marks is now charged with obscenity, illegal carry of a weapon by a convicted felon, assaults, and disturbing the peace. Police say he brandished a gun at several people, including children, and made threats. A Missouri man is taken into custody in a Boyles Parish after he reportedly barricaded himself into a trailer house, shot at a deputy, and threatened members of a family, including children. It all began around 10.30 this morning on Highway 454 in Effie. Deputies say they gained admission to that trailer to search for stolen goods and a suspected burglar when a man opened fire with a shotgun and threw a door at a deputy. A deputy opened fire and no one was hit. A crisis negotiator was called in and was able to talk the man out of the house eventually. 44-year-old Jason Lee Wright surrendered around 1 p.m. Family members who had been inside were able to get out safely earlier. Wright is now charged with attempted murder of a police officer, illegal possession of a gun, and is also wanted in Missouri for parole violations. Deputies say he had been living at that trailer home. Louisiana Public Broadcasting held a special screening last night of the Vietnam War, a film by Ken Burns and Lynn Novick. This is an 18-hour, 10-part documentary. The screening was held at the Alexandria VA Medical Center, where numerous veterans and their families attended to view a one-hour portion of the documentary. The Alexandria Historical and Genealogy Library and Museum has an open house event and seminar later this week. The seminar is going to be at the Bentley Hotel uh, on uh, Saturday uh, for $10. We want everybody to pre-register. You will get a voucher to go have breakfast in the Bentley room. Okay. And then we're going to have the seminar at 9, and we're having lunch that's going to be catered by the Bentley. So for $10, you're getting a breakfast, you're getting a lunch, and you're getting excellent speakers. And at the end, you get a tour of the Bentley Hotel. That open house will begin on Friday with a meet and greet at the library. You can visit or call the Alexandria Historical and Genealogy Library and Museum to find out more about registration for the event. It's a 10-part series that's going to be airing on LPB starting this Sunday at 7 p.m. There's 18 full hours of programming and it covers the uh, Vietnam War from every perspective you can imagine. There's interviews obviously with American soldiers, but they also interview South Vietnamese soldiers, even North Vietnamese soldiers. Uh, there's POWs, they talk, uh, touch a little bit on the anti-war movement here in the States. All right, he was talking there about the Vietnam War by Ken Burns. Veterans were invited to sign a large-scale movable map of the war area. Some participated in oral history recordings, sharing their experiences while serving. Louisiana Public Broadcasting has been traveling to different areas of the state holding those screening events. And the Vietnam War series will air on LPB this Sunday, September 17th. To you, it's just an old coat, but to an underprivileged child, it's a warmer winter. Please help us collect coats for kids before the cold months get here. You can drop off new or gently used coats at a location near you. All coats are cleaned and distributed right here in our community. The KLAX Coats for Kids Drive is sponsored by First Federal Bank, Southern Heritage Bank, Bank of Montgomery, Kramer Funeral Home, Take 5 Oil Change, South Park Cleaners, and LaSalle Printing and Office Supply. Well, good evening, everyone. We did enjoy just an absolutely gorgeous day out there. Low humidity and temperatures only in the 80s, but by tomorrow, I think the humidity will creep up just a little bit. And then uh, by the end of the week, mostly sunny conditions and then rain chances will start to increase. And we have more rain chances as we head into uh, the weekend, and it's going to be a little bit warmer this weekend as well. Right now, it's 85 degrees in Alexandria. In Leesville, it's 83 degrees. Lake Charles, also 83. Natchez around 82 degrees. So temperatures a little bit below normal for today. We did enjoy that sunshine. We did have a little bit of a brush with Irma, but uh, as it moves away, it's actually bringing a little bit of that cooler air and drier air into our region. So in the 40s, it feels dry to even comfortable. Just absolutely gorgeous out there. But I think by tomorrow, it will start to move into the 50s. And by the end of the week, it will be in the 60s. So that humidity will return as south winds bring the moisture 
in from the Gulf of Mexico. But for tomorrow, though, we don't have to worry about that just yet. Comfortable conditions, lots of sunshine as we uh, head into your Thursday. But take a look at the hot air just to our west. That will move in, especially with the southwest winds and south winds coming in. And that's going to bring the moisture back. So not only is it going to be warm, it's going to be a little bit humid out there. Temperatures tonight will drop down into the 60s for the most part. 64 degrees in Alexandria and Boyce around 64 as well. Mostly clear conditions, very quiet out there. And I think we're going to stay with quiet weather as we head into tomorrow. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures around 89 degrees, so a tad warmer than today. And we're going to see some 90s out there as well across uh, the region. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures around 88 degrees for your Friday. Plenty of sunshine, but I think the humidity will move up just a little bit. And then over the weekend, that humidity will continue to increase and that will also increase our rain chances. A few showers and thunderstorms possible in the afternoon on your Saturday. Our high will be around 89 degrees and then we climb up to around 90 degrees for your Sunday with more chances of rain. I think by Monday as we start off work again, I think mostly sunny conditions during the day, but in the afternoon there could be a stray thunderstorm or two. But notice those temperatures are around 92 degrees. Overnight lows will also climb up as a result of the humidity by Tuesday humid but we're going to see some sunshine out there and then by Wednesday we're going to see above normal temperatures as highs will be around 96 degrees and it's going to be very hot it's going to be humid but at least we'll see some sunshine that's a look at your weather stay tuned we have more coming up after this Predators better pray. Crime Watch Daily airs weekdays at 3 on KLAX TV. The NSU football team returns home this Saturday seeking their first win of the season. No doubt that Saturday's a big one. It's not only the home opener, but it's also the conference opener. So Jay Thomas just knows how big this game is and says Lamar is a much different team than when the Demons have faced them in the past. We got a very quality opponent coming in, uh, new staff, a lot of new wrinkles, offense and defense, and uh, you know, in preparing for Lamar, you know, you, you had two games that they played and uh, you know, lost by a large score in the first game, and then really won by a large score in the second game. So it makes it difficult to uh, prepare and, and plan for it. Hi everybody, this is the voice of the Tigers, Jim Hawthorne, inviting you to watch Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors on this affiliate of the LSU Sports Television Network every week during the season. We'll have all the highlights, exclusive locker room access you won't see anywhere else, and features that will give you the inside story on your fighting Tigers football team. Inside LSU Football, join us Sundays at 10 on KLAX TV, brought to you in part by Take 5 Oil Change. Apple unveils a new iPhone 10 and AT&T expands its free HBO offer to all wireless customers. Jane Kane is at the NASDAQ market site with those stories and more in today's tech reports. The new iPhone 10 is basically a super premium version of the phone. The OLED screen covers almost the whole front of the device. There's no home button. It's just a single swipe. It takes you to the home page. Now you can also tell if it's you that tilts the phone and that will unlock the screen. It's got facial recognition. And yes, the 64 gig version costs $999. Well, AT&T now bundling an HBO subscription for no additional charge to all wireless customers on unlimited plans. Now it's been offering the free HBO to just its most expensive tier. Now it will include HBO for current and new subscribers in the speed limited AT&T Unlimited Choice plan starting Friday. Well, Nintendo says the NES Classic is coming back. The company says it's bringing it back in order to meet incredible demand for the $79 retro console capable of playing 21 classic games, including Super Mario World, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and Super Metroid. Nintendo says it had originally planned to wind up shipments of the Super NES Classic Edition by the end of this year. And how much would Americans save if they did all of their shopping online. Everything from apparel to furniture to jewelry is cheaper online. So Adobe wanted to find out how much we'd save. They put together a digital price index and says if we shifted all of our spending to the internet, we'd estimate uh, that we'd save about $2.2 billion. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your tech report. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. KLAX is the exclusive provider of ABC and MeTV programming here in central Louisiana. We're the only station where you can watch new ABC programs like Dancing with the Stars, Designated Survivor, and Grey's Anatomy, just to name a few. That's what family does. We take care of each other. I'm proud of you. The warmth of your love. And if classic TV programs like Bonanza, Andy Griffin, Batman, or Carol Burnett is more your style, then MeTV's the station for you. As an advertiser, you want your products and services presented to these loyal viewers. Our sales team is equipped to prove we can generate new customers and new revenue for your business. I'll tell you what, it pays to advertise. And we have a number of low-risk advertising programs designed to prove we work. Call our media consultant team today for a no-risk assessment on how we can help you grow your business. We're ready to prove we work.